All right, guys, welcome back to another American Reacts. We are looking at Bathurst 1987. Peter Brock in the wet, otherwise known as Brocky in the wet. And uh, this video comes from Brett Hobbin. This video will be linked down below in the description. And uh, so check it out. But here we go. A lot of you guys have told me about this. We have reacted to a lot of Peter Brock by now. He's one of my favorites. Of course, King of the Mountain uh, was such a cool guy and a legend behind the wheel. Uh, so I believe you guys have said that he, uh, late in the race, made a pit stop and put on slick tires in the rain, which we know is totally uh, a suicide mission, right? Like that just slicks and rain do not mix at all, especially in a powerful uh, Commodore like this. So I'm anxious to see what he can do. He was kind of magic behind the wheel. So <laughs> let's just watch. Third place drive and the mobile Commodore comes into the pits. Keep in mind the audio is very weak on this. I'm only getting it in one ear. So if you can't hear the audio, I apologize. I'll turn up as loud as I can uh, in post, but it's pretty quiet. Now our crew are down there bringing you all the action. Rocky sits in the car. The yep, car those are slicks. Already giving him a, a huge uh, cheer as he pulled in. Let's go to Neil Crompton. Well, Brock's just giving me the thumbs up. It's the usual uh, confident, happy, and positive Peter Brock who's in the car at the moment. He's gone out the time of about... There he goes. Oh, my God. And he is gassing <laughs> in the Commodore. He's put slick tires on. The announcer just said he put slick tires on, and did you see that thing get the ass end out right away? Oh, my God. Of course, he kept it together. Uh, this is going to be fun to watch. I feel like this is long overdue. Peter Brock in the wet. Oh, man. Let's see what he can do. Look at how loose, look how unstable the car is. In pit lane, have you? Come to think of it now, you were the man that had to bail for the ride in this car at Bathurst, as I recall. It there he goes. <laughs> the it's right our, our ace pit commentator, Crompton, who joined Peter Brock's team and finished so well at uh, Sandown. Was he a Again, love this a era, this even the late 80s. Of, uh, love that Commodore. That has to be postponed until oh my God, you can tell that car wants to go all over the place. Five laps remain. James Hardy, 1987. Look at this. Oh my God. Yeah, I think he's <laughs> he got loose he right got away. That car wants to spin really out bad. Very slippery off line. It does have I think he could get himself drive. into great problems if he doesn't watch it. Well, he's got to get heat into the tires first of all. Look at it skating out. Look at this dude skating. <laughs> hope to see on the clay somewhere. This was Formula D, you know, Formula Drift way before it came, right? Peter Brock would have been the king at that too. against all the odds. Do you think it could be on the on the cards again, depending on what happens up front? It's a great tribute to the champion of this man. Peter Brock has been put down by quite a few people in many quarters. That guy's right on his tail. the race fans in the Beamer. Their vote to Brocky as he goes over the hill. We got the little BMW <laughs> trying to give him a terrible time. He is trying to give him a terrible time yeah, in the BMW the there. But it is Peter Brock. That's Can you? Uh, oh my God! Look at him coming sideways the through the turns. How, how is he not locking up the brakes? Going here. straight into the wall? I don't know. We'll float it through here. See if he gets it, uh, a bit of opposite lock as he comes out. The dry lines out. Jeez, and he can barely give it any throttle, guys. Coming out of the turn, right? I mean, how is he doing this? How is he keeping it together and still having enough speed to stay in front of that BMW and everyone else, uh, for that matter? <laughs> and Brock really giving the mobile Commodore. Jeez, he is giving it speed now. Oh, he's, got, he's got cojones, right? Oh, jeez. Down into the chase, left-hander. Skates a little over the road, but the dry line. Oh so my god, this is so uh, scary but entertaining to watch. I mean, it's really not scary. You know he's the we'll boss. The he's going to keep BMW. it together. Coming into the pit area. Dang it, guys. That is it. That uh, It was only a three-minute video. I didn't even notice that. I thought it was a little longer. But uh, look, I got the story from that, okay? That was freaking awesome. Peter Brock, I say this every time, never ceases to amaze me. If you thought the guy uh, was good in the dry, he certainly is because we've seen him whip uh, those cars around the track, set amazing lap times, break records, win by six laps. 
uh, you know, all this craziness that he does. But the fact that he can keep that race car on slicks together on one of the hardest tracks in the world, one of the hilliest, curviest tracks in the world, in the wet, speaks for itself. It speaks for itself. The guy was a legend. There was He was one of those almost alien-like figures uh, where, you know, very few humans come along that are that good at their craft. Uh, he was a master at his craft, and it was awesome. Awesome to watch. I could seriously watch this guy all day. He's amazing. So thank you guys for uh, probably months now for suggesting that. I finally got to it. Uh, it's been a while since we've been at Bathurst. Thank you for being patient. There's a lot of awesome Australian motorsports to come. More Bathurst, uh, more from other tracks, and, of course, more from even regular car related topics like uh, FPV is coming up, uh, learning about the history of Holden, all these different things will be coming up very soon. So I appreciate you tuning in. Let's talk in the comments. Did you get to see this live? Uh, what do you think of how amazing he is in the wet? He was literally drifting this race car in front of other guys that were presumably on better tires. So it, it's incredible. It's incredible. I always love hearing from you guys. Uh, did you like that version of the race car? This would have been 1987. Uh, so you can tell me what version of Commodore that was and uh, what motor was in it. You know I always love hearing that, and I appreciate you guys that leave uh, those tech specs for me. Throw a like on there uh, for Brocky in the wet. Uh, what a beast. Subscribe for more stuff like this. Check out the description for the Discord, the tip jar, uh, the P.O. box, and, of course, this original video. My name is Ian. You watch 9W Rocker. Until next time, catch you later.